Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe. All ball's favorite player of all time, LeBron, the Lakers and LeBron James. I got to get into this because the Dan Hurley situation, it brought up some things that I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a second. What's going on here? And he mentions how LeBron James texted him over the weekend when he was deciding whether or not he wanted to join the Lakers real quick. And follow me, guys. I know it's not Knicks anymore, but it's what we do. Follow us. We know what we're doing over here. But this is Dan Hurley speaking to, you know, his Lakers situation, how he came to that conclusion of, you know, turning down a deal and LeBron James texting him. Did you talk or text or anything? We, we, we had some text messages and, um, you know, he... Uh you know, incredible, uh, you know, message from him uh, over the course of the weekend, just, just uh, you know, talking about, uh, talking about basketball and, and, and some different things and, and, and let me know, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, that, that if he was there in LA, that I'd have his support. And uh, just like, think about that, man, like that, that blew my mind. <laughs> And then we, we, we got into a, a text exchange and then the, the exchange even went through uh, to when uh, when I chose to go in another direction. So, uh, you know, uh, it blew my mind when I when you get a text message from LeBron James. <laughs> right? So in that one, he, he mentions how. When the key words for me was if I stay over there, if I'm there. He just, those words, and then all of a sudden, they also spotted Nick Nurse and LeBron James at a, at the Sky High in Philadelphia. So there's a report that the Philadelphia 76ers are interested in drafting LeBron James' son, Bron um, Bronny. There's also a report floating out there that LeBron James, uh, the Dallas Mavericks are interested in signing Bronny with the 58th pick. So you have Philly with a bunch of cap space. You have Philly with a Philly with a bunch of cap space, and the Mavericks. You know, they used to be Mark Cuban's team. He sold it to the to to the the casino company over there. It, it makes a lot of sense to put the pressure on LA and LeBron. You draft his son, now you go play with him over there in Philly or Dallas, which are potential playoff teams. You got a pretty good situation there. High IQ guys: Nico Harrison, general manager; Jason Kidd, Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic over in Dallas, and with Philly. You have Joel Embiid, Nick Nurse, a great coach, and then LeBron James joining you potentially. What do you think about that? With him, you know, he basically, to me, he sabotaged the Lakers by saying, if I'm over there, if I'm over there. Now you got these reports with your son being floated around to any other team. What do you think about, about, about your guy, or uh, LeBron James, all ball? I'm going to be honest, man. That little two minutes just gave me a headache. Like, this is a this this, this is... This is a reality show, man. Like the Lakers with LeBron James is turning into love and hip hop. It's turning into, you know, uh all the reality shows, man. Flavor, love. Like it, it just is. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to be trolling, to be rude or disrespectful. It's comical. And the head of the snake is LeBron James, man. This dude, man, like he's turning into a diva, man. Like, this ain't even about basketball no more. Like what is this? When you can't get a, when you tr when you try to shortchange a college coach, like what what are y'all doing over there? This is LeBron's doing, bro. Simple and plain. I've been saying it. I think I was the first to say Jeannie Buss need to be removed. <laughs> what is she doing over there? Straight up. She's over there flirting doing? and flirting and rubbing his shoulder. Yeah, what like like so so for me, man, you know, no matter no matter where LeBron go, I mean, if he go to Philly, that means what? Oh, I'm being honest, I don't care. I'm not I'm not excited to see a 41 year old play basketball in the era where the young guys is just doing so great. Just being honest with you. This is why I like Kevin Durant as a person. This doesn't happen. He just wants to play basketball, man. Like, I'm being honest, LeBron, you are a, a, a juggernaut. I get it. But w what is all this for? To get your son in the league? Like, like, just be real. 
I'm staying around till my son get here. Wherever my son go, I'm going. So I need to, like, come out and say it. Like, F it. Just come out and say it. But all of this, I'm being honest, man. If, if, if I'm a coach, it turns me off. I don't want to coach LeBron James. <laughs> I don't want to be part of the Lakers. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I commend Hurley for not wanting to be a part of that mess. But, I mean, LeBron goes to Dallas. Okay, that means what? That means what? What if they don't win? If he goes to Philly, means what? Means what? That's what I'm saying. It means it. What? What does it mean? It. He's playing with Anthony Davis. Also, he's playing with a good team. They can't get out the first round. They are in the playing. Is Anthony? Is is Embiid better than Anthony Davis? What pieces? Is Tobias Harris better than Reeves? Is Kelly Oubre better than D'Angelo? He's going to go to Philly and do what? Do what? Is Luca better than Anthony Davis? We got to start putting more respect on Anthony Davis' name. He won a championship for the Lakers. Right now, if you got an NBA draft healthy, who are you taking, Anthony Davis or Luca? Let's let let's talk real basketball. Come on, man, cut the jokes. Luke and them damn men got swept. And they probably lose tonight. LeBron James has a legit guy and can't get it done. Come on, man, let's stop playing games, man. He about to be 40. I don't care how great and athletic he looks. These young dudes is running the muck on you. Get out of here, man. Come on, this is... It's comical, Faith. It's comical, and it's starting to annoy me. Real talk. Because you're 40 years old. What are you acting like this for? Like, this is... more man, you, you acting like you Beyonce or something, bro. This is what... Yeah, for real. This is, this is like Taylor Swift and them. This is what they do. Hey, get LeBron out of here, man. I think the guys in the comments agree with you. And I wanted to say, you know, we spoke to doing things my way, our way. LeBron potentially doing that, getting his son in the league. I've always compared it to, like, Britney Spears had her, her sister come into the game. Um, You know, the family business. But this ain't a one-man show. And to your point, Beyonce is Beyonce. It's, you know, she left Destiny's Child. <laughs> you know, uh, Taylor Swift never had a team. If LeBron James does this to the Lakers, I, I don't I don't think he understands what he would do to his reputation. All that all the whole big show about you getting 40,000 points or whatever it is, the Lakers, the Laker fans, they don't play these games, man. Let's not forget. A lot of them, you know, because they are the biggest and, and most popular franchise probably ever. You know, they got a lot of fans out there that are are, are bandwagon guys, but I know a lot of Lakers fans and they know the game. They don't even like LeBron James for real. They just don't because of these antics. You don't leave a team high and dry after selling, after trading everybody for your guy, Anthony Davis, and then you leave him high and dry because you would really be leaving him high and dry. I'm wondering how Anthony Davis feels about that. He's a part of clutch and everything. You're doing him dirty as well because you want to do things your way. And it's like, it's a point of, you know, being gangster, being a paper gangster. That's cool. We respect the being gangster part. But again, when have you really sacrificed? Like, I'm trying to think about this. When have you really sacrificed? When? With the Lakers and everybody? Like, how? That's not sacrificing. You're going to go to the Philadelphia 76ers and do what? I hope, like, if you fail over there, bro, this is, that's bro, not bro. LA. Bro, he's failing now. <laughs> well, well, but, but that's a, to, but the point is, if you do that in Philly, they're not playing with you. Philly is Brooklyn. Boston is like Brooklyn. They are the worst kind of version of us. They're going bananas on you. Listen, you will not be able to walk them streets. Let me tell you what he's doing. See, this is where it's comical for me. Be the tough guy that you are. What you said, wherever my son go, I want to play with my son. So if your son go to the Wizards, go to the Wizards. Stop trying to force the Lakers 
to take your son because you know you do not want to go anywhere. See, we say things just because it sounds cool. Wherever my son go, I'm playing with my son. Okay. Okay. You going down there in Houston, pick him? You going to play with Ime Udoka, who called you a you-know-what? Stop it. And this is my problem with Jeannie busting them. Y'all letting this man run your organization to the ground, to where y'all can't even get a college coach. And I'm not, just no disrespect early. I'm not saying that as disrespect, but when does a college coach turn down a Lakers job to coach the GOAT? When, where does that happen at? It, it just gets worse and worse. So for and me, no, it's like that was, no, hold on, stay right there. Because that's what the key to that conversation was that, First of all, I like this Dan Hurley guy. He's very honest. For him to say, well, for him to quote him verbatim and say, if I'm there, he's hearing you say, if I'm there. Why are you, if you were a team guy and you wanted the Lakers to be this thing and be this brand, and even if you wanted your son there and you wanted the best for him, you would say, yo, you go there, I'm staying no matter what. Forget about what my son is, go is going and everything. Bro, I, I think the world of you. For, like, the college coach has to turn down his situation that he built over there. You don't respect it enough to go all out to, to make the most out of the Lakers situation. So that's a great point, man. You couldn't get the college coach because you come off selfish like a diva. And I'm trying to tell you, man, this is, listen, man, this, this, this is what superstars and rock stars, and this is how they act. Listen, this, this like I said, man, it, this is how Beyonce acts. When she walk into the dressing room, she getting ready for the big concert. And she tell them she only like blue M&Ms and they made a mistake and put an orange one in there. And she throws a hissy fit. That's LeBron James. And this is why when the GOAT conversation comes up and people always use excuse after excuse for him, well, he didn't have a great coach. This is why. He probably had numerous times to get to, to get a great head coach. He don't want one. Because he thinks he's a great head coach. Once again, La La Land, Hollywood, L.A., the Lakers, they have the GOAT. And the college coach said no. I'm going to say it again. La La Land, where all dreams come true. You coaching the Lakers, one of the greatest organizations in sports history. They have the GOAT, LeBron Ramon James. And the college coach said, no, I don't want no parts of that. Oh, oh, ball TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.